So, hey guys, Chauzo here. And yeah, I did get Bonclay Legend on part 2 of the Trash Map Sugofest. So, yeah, I figured I'd make some content with him. So, I'm starting with the most obvious content first since Bonclay is basically made for Hawkins Forest in every conceivable way. So I decided to make the best possible team I could against Hawkins Forest with double bond clay. So yeah, here's the team. It's <laughs> not the most unique team, but I felt like someone needs to do uh, a more basic team as well, even if... I, always, I feel like it's hard to say basic team when we have a lot of Wii to Shura Sherry plays and kid plays like... Those two pair so well, especially against Hawkins Forest, and Bonclay just lets them shine even more. Honestly though, I'd say that double Bonclay captain is a bit overkill. You could probably skip one of the Bonclay, probably. But the extra healing with double Bonclay is nice, like you really can't sleep on the 1.3 times recovery that both the bone clay gives that's such a regular effect like usually it's just like 1.3 times hp but recovery is rare and having both hp and recovery is super rare so yeah we take those and yeah I use shira sherry here yeah so i can stall out the damage threshold uh not a strat i usually use but it worked out pretty well here and it also let me skip more inaccessible supports that I might otherwise use. Uh, as for support from this team, like uh, there are two main ones. First, Bonclay has the new Iwanku support. That support is basically made for Bonclay, it's so good. But if you don't have him, you can just change ship probably. Shouldn't be a big issue, you just need to let the Captain Bonclay stay Sai or Int and run the Megalo ship. Uh, Kid has the Treasure Map Rear Recruit Luffy support, and if you don't have him, you can just skip it. It's just, it's like one extra turn of stall, it's really not a very big deal. But yeah, I just changed the Captain to Dex here, Lock Orbs with Iwanko. See, I got two Dex units now, which is very useful. Uh, the cool thing with Iwanko being Dex as well is that this will make the final boss swap into being Strength. And as you see, we have a lot of quick units on the team. And the cool thing with Iwanko is that... No, it, no, no I want to say Iwanko, it's Bonclay, of course. The cool thing with Bonclay, of course, is that... Like, and the final stage we can still swap colors too, so we can trick Hawkins into becoming strength. And then we can make both our bond clays quick instead, so. So yeah, we're going to, you're going to see a lot of kids special here. Like the combination of full board of recovery, plus your Sherry swap, plus double bond clay recovery. As you see how much we heal is like 10 times uh, per recovery orb. 10k HP heal. See, so yeah, I use Black Maria here. I'll use her final stage as well. She's one of those few units who can remove both Special Bind and Death Up, which is very valuable here. And yeah, I just used to Kid Special because why not? We'll get the HP back. Like most of this run, you'll see me just hitting good and great because there's not really needed anything more than that. So yeah, I use Zoro here, or boost, remove the, the spear, use Kid for more attack. Now I can use the first Bonk Clay Super Die Special. So yeah, we got a chain lock now, so we can ignore the decreased chain. And yeah, just hits six good or great as usual and easily overkill while we heal back again. So yeah, we're at a very good HP again, so I'm just going to swap Shira Shira here to remove the bind. 
Then I'll use double kid again to get the 2.5 times attack and orb. But yeah, I've used Bonclay quite a bit now. I'll have a few more teams up later today. And I can just say that I like him a lot more than I thought I would. I knew I'd like him, but I think I actually uh, love him. He's super fun. And yeah, I changed to Int just because I knew that would let me one it KO there. And I can just swap back to quick later as well. And yeah, I'm going to do the classic stall here, but it's actually not bad at all because Bon Clay heals so much, you don't need to heal a lot. And uh, the CD just works out pretty well with this team, so we actually don't need to stall here. We basically kill naturally while just consume recover orbs to be at a good HP when we move on to next stage. So yeah, overall I think this might be my safest Kid Forest team I made. It's ridiculously free, to be honest. And pretty accessible as long as you have Bon Clay and uh, Iwanko support. But like it should be easier to get Iwanko support than Bon Clay, but you can always have bad luck of course. But yeah, it's very nice of Bandai to make that the one cool support because that really will affect this Bon Clay long term. But yeah, I really love that this Bon Clay can be anything you need on a team. And it's going to be possible to showcase so many fun stuff with that. Like I've already made a mono powerhouse team with Bon Clay and stuff, it's super fun. Uh, this is the mono team sadly, but it's purely striker driven and cerebral units. And yeah, I just keep my bon clays uh, driven and cerebral, cerebral for the ship, and driven to work with kid. As well as Black Maria, of course. And yeah, I use double kid here. And yeah, I honestly don't need Sora special anymore, but I use him here anyway. And yeah, just hit greats and easily kill. Yeah, very easy. And yeah, I'm actually not going to use any specials here. We're actually just going to use the chain lock and this will still let us very easily kill. And yeah, final stage already. So yeah, we're going to use Brack Maria first, we remove the death up and the special bind again. We also get color affinity, then we can use double kid to get attack boost or boost. We can use Shirashiri to remove the spear and get that chain boost. And then we can use both the bone clay just to become quick, just for fun, even if it's not needed. Because as you'll see, uh, this is incredibly overkill. And yeah, they do do the uh, base stat buff, 1500 extra attack. It's not that big, but it's a nice extra buff you can stack. But yes, yeah, you see, that's just a yoke. I could hit with three more quick units, and I only hit great and good, so yeah. But yeah, anyway, I'll just give a, a quick look of the team, in case you're... You really want to see how it looks. Uh, no limit break expansion should be re needed really, even if I have it on some units. So yeah, there's only three really noteworthy supports here. Uh, first on Sora we have the uh, Chocolate Nami. Um, yeah, she's super good, can be put on most straw hats, not Robin annoyingly. And uh, yeah, just when you use a special, you can remove bind and despair. These specials are very good when you want to decide yourself when to remove bind or despair. Uh, then on kid, we have to charge my brave recruit Lufitaro. Uh, I'm very sorry if you don't have him because this support is just amazing, but I said it's not needed for this content. Uh, the Ivanko is harder to replace. 
but yeah, it is what it is. Very good support, just lock orbs. That's one of the best supports you can have. But yeah, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't imagine a much easier clear than that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.